Hi friends and welcome to a new episode of Techno Extreme. In this episode, we will discuss all about websites. So friends, I'll show you how you can create your own website and make it live. Also, I'm going to guide you through some of the major key concepts. Let's start with the definition of website. A website is a collection of web pages. And for demonstration, I'm showing you Amazon's website. So you can see that this website consists of a number of web pages. Let's click on a link. Let's click on Fire TV Stack. So once I click on this link, you can see that it routes me to a different page. Similarly, if I'll click any other link, it's going to take me to a different page, which shows that this website is a collection of web pages. Now, a web page is generally made up of HTML, CSS, and JS. So, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and this is the language that your browser understands. And uh, it converts a .html page into a web page. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet, and uh, this is responsible for the appearance and looks of your website. Now, JS is JavaScript. I can give you an example when you create a website which uses authentication and when you enter wrong credential it gives you a pop-up saying that uh, you, are, you have entered invalid credentials. That's just because of that pop-up is just because of JavaScript. Now let's start with the tool used for creating websites. So you can use Notepad++. Notepad++ is a uh, just like notepad and uh, if you are a beginner you can use this tool moving on you can use adobe dreamweaver so it's one of the most popular tools which is used for creating a website so uh, you can either use dreamweaver and there's one more tool which i want to mention and that is uh, microsoft visual studio so microsoft visual studio is also used for creating a website and uh, Yep, these three tools are the most popular tools with which you can create uh, static responsive or dynamic website depending on your needs. Now friends, uh, since we have already seen what a website is, what a web page is and what are the different elements of a website, we have also seen the different tools which are used uh, in order to create a website. Uh, the question that arises is very simple that a person who does not have a prior knowledge of coding and who is not that much well versed uh, with coding can he or she create uh, a website the answer is absolutely yes he or she can uh, create a website with a little or no knowledge of coding using cms the full form of CMS is Content Management System and there are a number of uh, CMS available through which you can create a website. I am going to show you the most popular uh, CMS that are used for uh, creating a website. So one of them is WordPress uh, which is I think the most popular CMS used nowadays for creating normal websites as well as e-commerce website. Apart from uh, WordPress you can also use Drupal. Drupal is also a CMS uh, which is used for creating website and one more popular CMS is Joomla. So Drupal, Joomla and WordPress can be used uh, for website creation if you have, if you're not that much well versed with coding. Now we have created a website and I think it's done, right? Actually no, because we have to make our website live and for making our website live, we need to know about two really really important stuff one is domain and the other thing is known as hosting server so what is a domain a domain is going to provide a url for your website and through which people can search your website and can uh, go to your website so for that you can use free services uh, from website like freenom so freenom uh, is a service provider is a domain service provider is going to provide you domain and that too for free if you want so uh, you can use this service for one year and after that i think it's paid again you need a place 
where your website will be hosted so for that you need to uh, get a hosting server so your hosting server can be windows based or it can be linux based so depending on your need you can um, host your uh, website and uh, one of the portals that provide you free uh, web hosting service is pro free host so uh, using this you can host your website now let's move to some paid service provider now i'm talking about paid service provider because if you are a professional or if you are trying to host a e-commerce website or uh, other important website uh, for which you need speed and efficiency you need to get a paid service for that uh, you can um, you can use GoDaddy service and GoDaddy is one of the uh, most popular uh, website hosting as well as domain service provider. Other than that, uh, what I use is uh, BigRock because I'm based in India. So for uh, uh, hosting a website, I use BigRock. I also have purchased domain using uh, BigRock. So uh, that's all about uh, website creation and website hosting. Uh, again friends uh, I'm not going in deep uh, because I have to create a short video and I, I cannot include each and every topic uh, in this video. So that's all for this episode of Techno Extreme and have a nice day. Bye bye.